descend? How soon is he swallowed up by the depths? But thou, Zarathustra, still lovest the abysses, lovest them as doth the fir tree. The fir flings its roots where the rock itself gazes, shuddering at the depths. The fir pauses before the abysses, where all around would fain descend amid the impatience of wild, rolling, leaping torrents. It waits so patient, stern, and silent, lonely. Lonely, who would venture here to be guest, to be thy guest, a bird of prey perchance, joyous at others' misfortune, will cling persistent to the hair of the steadfast watcher with frenzied laughter, a vulture's laughter. Wherefore so steadfast, mocks he so cruel? He must have wings, who loves the abyss. He must not stay on the cliff, as thou who hangest there. O Zarathustra, cruelest Nimrod, of late still a hunter of God, spider's web to capture virtue, an arrow of evil, now hunted by thyself, thine own prey, caught in the grip of thine own soul. Twofold in thine own knowledge, mid a hundred mirrors, false to thyself, mid a hundred memories, uncertain, weary at every wound, shivering at every frost, throttled in thine own noose, self-knower, self-hangman,